Hey everybody, it's Chris at It's Meat Made, and today I am going to be replacing a Bowden tube. And for those of you that don't know what the Bowden tube is, it is this tube right here that your filament feeds through to your hot end from your extruder. As you can see here, I actually have a coupling right here that holds the Bowden tube that has went bad. So this is actually pulled itself out and I came to my 3D print with all of this filament being shoved out of the printer. So sometimes you will actually come to see this, so don't freak out. Um, the Bowden tube is uh, something that is a replaceable, and the coupling right here does go bad after a while. So just to see right there, that's cu the coupling. It still actually has the little uh, tabby in there to keep it from opening. And unfortunately, you can see there's no spring to this whatsoever, and it is bad. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and replace this. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am actually going to uh, pull back here and rewind all of this filament because there is a good amount here and I don't want to honestly throw it away. So I'm just pulling back my spool and getting that out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on my printer. That way I can pull this filament out and I'm just going to heat up the hot end. Okay, so now this is my hot end hot all the way. Now I should be able to just pinch this and pull out my filament and that way I don't have any wasted filament. So I'm going to go ahead and just tie off my filament right there. And now the Bowden tube is ready to be taken off. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip these. And I'm just going to take my wire cut cutters or actual my, the cutters for filament and just snip that and snip that one there we go so now it's free from the cable harness and I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece off and now it's free so we've got that piece next is this guy right here so this coupling down here is actually perfectly fine still. It's got plenty of spring, so I'm not going to replace this. Um, if you do get a replacement, sometimes they'll come with this. Most of the time they do. Sometimes you can just buy the tube itself. But uh, I'm gonna leave this as is right now. So I'm just going to push down right here, and I'm actually gonna turn off my printer. All right, so now I'm basically just gonna push this down. It should have a little spring to it, and it does push it down and I'm just gonna pull it out. Um, sometimes uh, it can stick and you may have to take your bigger wrench you have and undo this uh, if you're not already replacing it. But if you are replacing it, you just unscrew this and it comes right out. Um, it does help sometimes if your hot end is hot so you have it warming up because that this Bowden tube can sometimes get nasty on the end and you definitely will want to uh, replace it um, and if you have to. But a good chunk of the time, they don't both go out at the same time and this one's a little heavier duty than the other one. Um, but as long as you have a good spring to it, so you can see how this goes up and down, that means everything's fine and it'll actually grab it well. So once you have that, it's time to replace the actual Bowden tube. So this is the old Bowden tube, and this is the new one I'm putting on. I actually have a Capricorn Bowden tube. I bought it and already replaced it on my other Ender 3, and Capricorn makes really great Bowden tubes, and uh, I highly recommend them. You can actually get them on Amazon, and I can actually put a link in the description on Bowden tube. They're really affordable and it's one of those great upgrades that I strongly recommend. And I just never have done it on this one. I was waiting for the Bowden tube to go out and it finally did. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna basically just kind of measure this and get it to the right size. And let me cut it. All right, so I've got it cut to piece or to spec now. 
First thing I'm gonna do is make sure that the hole is actually, you can see through it and it's round because sometimes when you cut it, it will make it flat and squished and you can kind of see it on the other end a little bit and I'm gonna probably snip this again to make sure it's nice and round. Here, let me snip it real quick. And having sharp snips helps a lot. And, and there we go. So there's the other end. So now you can see both of them are nice and round. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this part and go ahead and I'm gonna push this down to get that spring and then go ahead and push it in all the way until it hits. And you will feel it hit the very bottom. And that is what you want. So once you have that, then you're gonna go ahead and put the clip back on and there we go. So now that's on there really well. The next thing is, is we're gonna take this coupling off right here. And I already have a new one right here. And the main thing to make sure of when you have a new one, make sure there's a spring to it. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna just take this guy off. There we go, just as easy as that. So you can see the difference here, how this one is definitely broken because I can just do this. This one I can't, I have to push hard on to make it snap like that. This one like is literally, I just gotta hit it on the side and it will do that. So that one's broken, so now that's trash. So all we're gonna do is re-thread this and tighten her up. And you don't wanna over torque this. You just wanna basically get it nice and snug because you can strip it. It is brass. So just nice and snug. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Bowden tube and I'm going to push back on this and then push this in till it hits. And you know you got it when it you feel that little hit. And now I can't pull this out if I wanted to. Well, I might if I try really hard. Now I just gotta put this little stopper on there so it doesn't accidentally get pushed back. There we go. And now our Capricorn Bowden tube is installed beautifully. So now all I gotta do is take some zip ties to this. So I'm just gonna hold it right here and put that on. And there's no need to like make this really super tight. Like just as long as it, you know, it's on there. And then I'm gonna follow this and put another one over here. That way the two things stay together, your cabling and your Bowden tube. All right, now I'll reconnect this over here onto the hot end. And the one last thing we got to do, I'm just going to cut these off to make them look nice. And there we go. And that is how you install a Bowden tube. It is just that easy. I, uh, I'm using a Capricorn Bowden tube. I highly recommend them. I'll be sure to put a link to them in the description on where to get them. Uh, a lot of the Bowden tubes are the same on 3D printers. It's the same process with the couplings and the tube itself. But if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And if you've liked this video and want to see others, please feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. I'm also super active on Instagram, so if you want to uh, message me and chat there, feel free. Other than that, I really hope you have a great day. Bye.